Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the July book favorites we had for Chicklet Plus. So this is all the books reviewed either by myself or someone on my review team that we gave five stars to. I think maybe seven, seven or eight books that we have that got five stars in July. So if you would like to see our book favorites for the month, please keep watching. The first one that I have is Things You Won't Say. And this one I have mentioned in several other videos. It's probably been like three videos now that I've talked about this book. But I just loved it so much and I felt like it was just a really powerful read. Uh, it covers the topic of a white police officer shooting and killing a Hispanic teenage boy. That is like the focal point of the book. We get an inside look at the family of the cop and what they go through. We also do get a glimpse into the life of the mother of the boy who was shot and killed and also his kind of family life a little bit on his background but it was just such a good read Sarah is one of like my favorite authors I have not missed a book by her yet and I always know that we're gonna get a really good book when she comes out with a new title so I listened to this as an audiobook and it was awesome to listen to and I thought it was interesting because Sarah put out there that the narrator of the book was a wife of a police officer who was basically in the same situation. Her husband was involved in a shooting of a teenager. So that kind of like amped it up a little bit to read as the audiobook. So as usual, all the books will be linked below in the description box. The Amazon link and the review on Chiclet Plus will be down below. The next one that got five stars is Down the Aisle with Bridezilla, and this is by Carly Palmer. And Annie reviewed this one. She said it was funny, it was entertaining, she said she devoured the book, she said it was the perfect summer read. The cover seriously cracks me up, I think it looks hilarious. And the golden land of Malibu, the sun is hot, the ocean breeze is crisp, and brides are deranged. <laughs> Dealing with four demanding clients, Megan Waters thought her job as a wedding planner would involve romance and internal bliss. Instead, her position has been causing drama, outrageousness, and has often made Megan reach for the aspirin bottle in the trap drawer more than once. So those are some of my favorite books to read. Obviously, the book that I just released myself is about a wedding and We've had another Marching Ink book that Laura released is about a wedding. It's actually about a wedding planner. I just love these books and I feel like so many readers who gravitate toward chick lit, like we just love good wedding books. So Annie gave this one five stars and that was Down the Aisle with Bridezilla by Carly Palmer. Okay, the next one has quite the title. It is My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry by Frederick Backman. And this was also reviewed by Annie. Her very last line in her review on Chiclet Plus said this is a standout original. And she just, she gave it a lot of high praise in her review. Uh, it says on Amazon, this is a charming, warm-hearted novel about a young girl whose grandmother dies and leaves behind a series of letters, sending her on a journey that brings to life the world of her grandmother's fairy tales. This sounds like a book that I would have absolutely loved to read. I had a really close relationship with my grandmother, so I bet that I probably would have enjoyed that story, but I feel like at the same time, I probably would have cried a lot. But the link to Annie's full review will be below as well as the Amazon link if you want to check that one out. Okay, the next one that I gave five, star five stars to, I've been trying to figure out if I included this in a favorites video or if it's just because I talked about it a lot again, but it is The Knockoff. And this one is by Lucy Sykes and Joe Piazza. I know that I've talked about it in so many of my videos, so I was trying to go back and see if I re put it in a favorites video, but the review went up on Chicla Plus in July, so I don't think I would have. But this one is such a good summer read. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was hysterical. Even though the main character that we follow is older, she's an older woman who leaves her job for a while as she's dealing with cancer and comes back and her magazine has gone to like all online. There's a new person in charge that they're not meshing well at work and she's trying to learn the new style of, you know, everything's on social media, everything's about being online and she's trying to like work her way through that world and even though I am on the younger generation side than she was, it was still a lot of fun to read. I felt like she was really relatable because sometimes it is crazy when sometimes you just listen to people's conversations and what they're talking about and posting on walls and it's just so funny to think back, you know, 
10 years ago or when I was in high school, like if we were to hear these conversations floating around in the hallway, it would be like, you want me to tweet you? What is that? I don't know what that means. What do you want me to do? Like, it's just, it was so funny to think about. So lit. It is a bit of a bigger book, but it reads so fast. I read it in just a couple days. So the knockoff is one that I highly recommend. The next one that I got five stars is The Retail Therapist, and this is by Colette Keeble. This was also written by Annie. This is a novella. We have had Colette on Chiclet Plus as well, and Annie's reviewed for her. I will be sure to link her other books below under this section so you can check them out. But again, it is a novella. It says it's 91 pages. It is free for Prime or Kindle Unlimited on Amazon or it's $1.99 regularly, so a little bit cheaper than a full length. Say in her review, she said that it was entertaining and it was hard to put down, but then she said it'll also make you want to do some retail therapy for yourself. So beware, you might want to go shopping if you read this one is also a five-star review from Annie and this is Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid and this one has a lot of buzz around it too. Annie in her review said that it was wonderful chiclet and that it was also a very unique read which I thought was really interesting. I for me myself I absolutely love the cover. I think that's just I don't know it's very eye-catching like when I was looking through the covers I look at it right away. It says, this is a breathtaking new novel about a young woman whose fate hinges on the choice she makes after bumping into an old flame. In alternating chapters, we see two possible scenarios unfold with stunningly different results. So I think that's where Annie's comment about it being so unique, I think that's where that comes in because how interesting does that sound? And I think that's very interesting. So we actually had two people review this on Chiclet Plus. I think the other review was either four or 4.5 stars and then Annie gave it five stars. But honestly, I kind of just want to read it for myself because I'm fascinated to see how that would play out. And especially as a writer, I'm just so curious to see how that book reads. So that's really interesting. I will leave both CLP reviews below as well. And Annie's is the one that is five stars. And the last one that I have to talk about is one that I gave five stars to. And it is The Cake Therapist. And this is by Judith Vertig. First of all, I love the cover. I love the back, which also features the cake, which this does play a part in the book as well. But I'm such a big foodie book person. I love books that revolve around food and cookbooks and all that stuff. I have no idea why, because I can't cook, bake, walk into the kitchen. I mean, I can't, no, no, that, that's just not for me. But for some reason, I gravitate towards these books. I loved it, but what I also really enjoy in books is like the magical realism. That's not how you say it at all is the magical realism effect and that's what this book features as well. It mentions, I think it's in the blurb that mentions that the main character Neely can taste feelings and I remember reading that and being like, I don't know what that means, that just sounds really weird. She gets visions in her head when she's working with different people and working on different recipes for those certain people. She can start to see visions and that's how she helps read people and it just, it's very interesting. I don't feel like I'm describing it very well because I feel like I'm describing it kind of like corny or not believable, but it didn't, it wasn't like that at all in the book. I loved it and it's what put it over the top for me. I honestly think if maybe that aspect wasn't in there, I think in my review I called it pizzazz, I think is what I called it. I don't, if that part was in there, I probably would have still enjoyed the book and given it like a four star review, but just with that little sprinkle of something extra, it put it over the top for me and I loved it. So that is The Cake Therapist by Judith Vertig and I gave it five stars. Those are all the books that got five stars from Chiclet Plus in the month of July. It's kind of crazy that we're in August already. I'm just glad I'm getting this video up in the early part of August for you guys because I think in July it was like super late, like comically late, like probably didn't even need to do it, kind of late. So I'm glad this one is up for you guys already. If you guys like seeing the monthly favorites and the breakdown of all the books that Chiclet Plus loved, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not, and I guess I will just catch you guys in my next video. Bye.